Many industry experts, including the well-known electric vehicle analyst Sandy Munro, have stated that solid-state batteries might be the final nail in the coffin for gasoline and diesel engines. He believes that these batteries are the most promising technology for helping electric vehicles travel up to 1,000 miles on a single charge. This presents a real challenge to Tesla's current top-tier 4680 battery, which is widely considered to be one of the best electric vehicle batteries available today. With the incredible advantages of solid-state batteries, Toyota, one of the leading developers of this technology, is confident that it could leap ahead of Tesla. Toyota claims that its solid-state batteries will offer a driving range of around 700 miles and will be able to fully charge in just 10 minutes. They believe that this could make solid-state batteries more widely used than Tesla's 4680 cells and suggest that Elon Musk could fall behind if he does not adopt solid-state. Technology soon. Hold on a second. Before we dive deeper, welcome to Amp Drive Your Hub for all things Tesla and the future of electric tech. We're still a small but growing crew with fewer than 1,000 subscribers, so if you love EVs and cutting-edge battery news, hit that subscribe button and join us early on this journey. Now, coming back to the main topic, despite the potential of solid-state batteries, they still have big challenges to overcome. So the real question becomes, between Tesla's 4680 battery and Toyota's upcoming solid-state battery, who will lead the electric vehicle battery game? At the moment, Tesla is rapidly increasing the production of its 4,680 battery cells. The company is currently producing over 500,000 cells each day at various facilities. While Toyota's solid-state battery is not yet available on a wide scale, the 4680 battery remains the best-performing option on the market, exclusively from Tesla. Elon Musk may not have a serious competitor just yet, but the competition is heating up. Companies like Samsung, Solid Power, and QuantumScape are all making progress in solid-state battery development, and Toyota's solid-state battery is no exception. To better understand this rivalry, it's useful to break down the basic design of both battery types. Let's keep this simple. All electric vehicle batteries are made up of four main parts, an anode, a cathode, an electrolyte, and a separator. The electrolyte is the key difference between lithium-ion and solid-state batteries. While lithium-ion batteries, including Tesla's 4680, use a liquid electrolyte, solid-state batteries use a solid one. That small change completely changes how the battery functions. The Tesla 4680 battery was first announced by Elon Musk in September of the year 2020. So far, it is mainly being used in the Cybertruck. Technically, the 4680 is a cylindrical lithium-ion battery that measures 46 mm in width and 80 mm in height. Its cathode mostly contains nickel around 81.6%, with the rest made up of manganese and cobalt. The anode is made of silicon instead of the usual graphite. This combination gives the 4680 strong performance metrics. What makes the 4680 really special is its unique structure and size, along with a table's design that removes the traditional connectors inside the battery. This makes the battery more efficient by lowering internal resistance, raising energy density, and making the manufacturing process easier. All of this helps Tesla bring down the cost while improving overall performance. On the other hand, solid-state batteries are available in several shapes like cylindrical, prismatic, pouch, and even thin film formats. The most popular types for electric vehicles are the prismatic and pouch versions. These designs help maximize energy storage and space efficiency. Solid electrolytes in these batteries are usually made from oxides, sulfides, or polymers. The big race is now about energy density, which battery can store more power in the same space or weight? That is crucial for improving how far electric vehicles can go on a single charge. Tesla's newest 4680 battery has made big gains in this area. It now reaches energy density levels between 300 and 350 watt hours per kilogram. That is 15 to 35% better than the older 2170 lithium-ion battery, 
which had around 260 watt-hours per kilogram. The 4680 also benefits from Tesla's dry electrode manufacturing process, which boosts both energy capacity and production efficiency. Tesla claims the 4680 can boost vehicle range by 16% just because of its energy density and innovative table say design. When combined with new techniques like building battery cells directly into the vehicle's frame, that improvement can go up to nearly 30%. For example, take the Tesla Model 3. It currently has a 75 kilowatt hour battery pack, giving it a range of about 363 miles and a total weight of roughly 4,000 pounds using regular lithium iron phosphate. Batteries. If it were equipped with 4,680 cells, the driving range could increase to around 471 miles while dropping the vehicle's weight to about 3,600 pounds. That's a major step forward in both range and efficiency. Tesla is working to beat its rivals by focusing on long range and lighter weight, but solid state batteries aim even higher to match or beat the performance of internal combustion engine vehicles. Today's solid state batteries already have impressive energy density figures. Cattle, a major battery manufacturer, has created a solid state battery that delivers 500 watt hours per kilogram. Samsung has reached a similar milestone. In the United States, Solid Power has developed a battery with a sulfide-based electrolyte that reaches 500 watt-hours per kilogram in a 100 amp-hour cell. This design improves thermal stability and boosts energy storage by 50 to 75 percent over traditional lithium-ion batteries. Toyota is pushing hard in this area too. They want to double the energy density compared to today's lithium-ion batteries aiming for 600 watt-hours per kilogram by the year 2026. If they achieve that, their electric vehicles could reach ranges of up to 750 miles. And some reports suggest Toyota is developing a solid-state battery with a potential range of 923 miles. If that becomes reality, Tesla will have a serious rival. Still, high energy density does not always mean fast charging. Tesla remains ahead in this area. Toyota says its solid-state prototype can charge from 0 to 80% in just 15 minutes. That is about as fast as cattle new lithium iron phosphate superfast charging batteries. The soft nature of sulfide electrolytes helps lithium ions move easily. Meanwhile, oxide-based solid electrolytes can handle higher voltages which boost performance. Yet Toyota's battery faces hurdles. One of the biggest concerns is dendrite formation. Dendrites are tiny, tree-like structures that can grow inside the battery and cause short circuits. Fast charging can make this problem worse. Strangely, even though lithium dendrites are soft, they still manage to penetrate solid electrolytes. This issue makes solid-state batteries more likely to short-circuit when charged quickly while lithium-ion batteries like the 4680 handle such stress more reliably. Now, is Tesla's 4680 the better pick? The 4680 has a design where both the anode and cathode have full polarity tabs, which shortens the path for electrons. This leads to better internal performance. The internal resistance of the 4680 is one-fifth of that in Tesla's older 2170 batteries. That means faster charging. Real-world data shows the 4680 can go from 0 to 60% in 20 minutes. Paired with an 800-volt electrical system, it gets even faster. The Cybertruck, which has a 123-kilowatt-hour battery, can go from 10 to 80% charge in about 30 minutes. Earlier Model Y units with 4,680 batteries also charged fast. One owner said their SUV charged from 0 to 80% in 32 minutes and a supercharger station in California using a 250 kilowatt charger. While solid state batteries may charge even faster, they are not yet as dependable. And that brings us to safety. Which battery is safer for electric vehicles? Tesla's 4680 is considered very safe because of its design. 
It removes risky tab connections, uses a stronger steel casing to protect the cells, and includes a better cooling system. These features reduce the risk of overheating or fire. Evidence from Cybertruck crashes shows that even after severe damage, these vehicles rarely catch fire. Still, because the 4680 uses liquid electrolytes, some risk remains. Solid-state batteries, by contrast, avoid this issue by removing the liquid electrolyte entirely. This cuts the risk of leakage, short circuits, and fires. In traditional lithium-ion batteries, the liquid electrolyte can leak or evaporate, especially under heat, leading to swelling, short circuits, and in worst cases, fire. Since solid-state batteries do not contain liquid, these risks are much lower. But they are not completely gone. Some solid-state batteries have shorter lifespans and are still vulnerable to dendrites and high heat over 300 degrees Celsius, which can cause thermal runaway or even internal short circuits. So while solid-state batteries are generally seen as safer, the 4680MOY actually be more reliable due to its more mature and stable performance. Toyota's solid-state batteries offer two clear advantages, better energy density and faster charging. But the cost of making these batteries remains a big problem. Toyota says it has reduced expected costs by 50%, but that only means the cost is half what they thought it would be, not half the cost of current lithium-ion packs. In truth, materials like lithium sulfide cost 5 to 10 times more than lithium carbonate, and the process requires strict humidity control and dust-free rooms, which drives up manufacturing Cybro. Expenses Mass production is another issue. Making a solid and even electrolyte layer is difficult. Even small errors during production could damage performance or cause safety problems. Durability is the third major concern. Some prototype solid-state batteries last only 1,000 charge cycles, which is not enough for daily use. Lastly, many current cathode materials do not work well with solid electrolytes, which means companies will need to invent new materials, a process that could take years. In contrast, Tesla's 4680 battery is already being made on a large scale. More than 500,000 cells are being produced daily. Although only the Cybertruck is using these batteries for now, their performance is impressive. It is still unclear why Tesla has not yet used them in more models. Experts estimate the 4680 battery costs between 114 and 170 United States dollars per kilowatt hour. With Elon Musk aiming to drop that to $70, by expanding production to 1,000 gigawatt hours per year. In summary, both the 4680 and solid state batteries are major breakthroughs that could shape the future of electric vehicles. Solid state batteries offer better safety, faster charging, and higher energy density, but they face big problems in cost, production, and lifespan. For now, they are mostly limited to high end electric vehicles. Meanwhile, Tesla's 4680 battery, although not as powerful in theory, is practical, widely produced, and already proving itself in real-world vehicles. And with Tesla's ongoing push to improve production and reduce costs, they remain a step ahead at least for now.